So guys, uh, I just want to give you a bit of an inside uh, to what's going to follow when we get to the police uh, interactions. And uh, currently, I'm walking around a old orphanage adjacent to a building that the young lads that you are going to see in the video have been climbing. Now, this area is quite a hot spot in Preston for climbers and urban explorers alike. I cur currently come across this place by watching a YouTube video on an urban exploration channel. And I thought, oh, not far from me. I might give that a look myself. So when I turned up to this place, the gate was open and there was one worker in the yard at the time. He more or less gave me permission to go around and film, but just warned me. And he said, look, a lot of floorboards ain't really safe, so just watch out. He said, you'll know which ones they are. Yeah, and you're more than happy to go around and have a look. So anyway, uh, I continued on this uh, exploration and, yeah, I was intrigued. But anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about the up-and-coming video after this. Now, I've made a decision to blur out the young lads' faces, even though at the end when we spoke, once the police went, I told them that I'd filmed it all and I informed them what I was going to do with the footage and put it on my YouTube channel, and they was all more than happy. Yeah, we can't wait. And uh, so I, I passed on my details for where they can go and view that. And uh, But I want to explain the reasons why I've choose to uh, blur out the faces. They're all happy. They don't have no problem, no issue with this. But I was more thinking from a parent's perspective, considering that they've not been convicted of any crimes or anything like that and they're just out there enjoying um, what they say is climbing and exploring. So I don't think the parents would probably too, be too happy if they see all the you know the kids' face plastered all over YouTube. Although we have a right to film anything in a public space. I totally get that, but I'm just uh, explaining why I've blurred the faces and it's just purely from a, a, a parent's perspective and not just that you know you, you could, people could be demonising the f uh, in the future if any of them are just leaving school or whatever it might you know stop them from getting a, a future job or whatever like that when they claim all they was doing was climbing so yeah basically this area is uh, literally a hot spot for uh, climbers urban explorers and people are like, now, the police, they'll have their side of the story to say. And the lads have their side of the story. And they said to me after the video is that they were climbing in these buildings and stuff, um, you know, not intending to steal anything or anything like that or cause damage. And when the police came up, um, one of his friends was locked up. That's the guy who's in, who you're going to see in the back of the transit van. And apparently he swore at one of the cops and he's done him for a, a public order offence. Again, you, you'll all have your opinions about that. I have my opinions about that too. I don't effing blind a lot or, you know, but some people, that's their vocabulary. Some people say it's impolite. Some people don't have a, an issue with it. Um, I'm a grown man. Uh, you know it doesn't matter to me um, but some people do get offended so like I say it's one of them things guys was it done in the hearing the sight of a member of public I don't know because I literally just turned up whilst the lad was already in the back of the van now just going off on a side note I was in Stoke a couple of months ago and I met an absolutely belting security guard and he has his own channel uh, doing herbal and exploring so big shout out to Sh uh, explore with shano uh, i said i'd give him a mention in the channel and uh yeah but i met him in stoke whilst he was he was doing his security work so yeah it's um it, it's it's something that a lot of people do and i suppose when you explore in these videos you could be uh you could be seen by the police to be pushing that fine line, uh, especially if you're found on on enclosed premises. Um, if the if there's 
doors open and stuff like that. It's just civil trespass. So, yeah, I, I suspect it's probably um, quite narrowing when you come into, you know, conflicts with the police in regards to what laws they might want to push on you for doing um, doing an hobby, basically. And I know this hobby might be might be seen by many as a nuisance, <laughs> And some people might just see it as young lads just having fun, climbing like most of us used to do when we were children. Because one thing I know I noticed about a lot of kids these days, you can't get them out of the bedroom. I know my kid, he, literally on the phone, uh, laptop all the time, you know. Whereas when I was a child, I was climbing trees, I was climbing all sorts, just enjoying being out in the open in the wild. And that's another thing, uh, and I noticed the struggles for the kids these days, They just there's nothing for them to do. So, like I say, police will have their say, and they might have had reports to this sort. I can't fundamentally say that the police was bang out of order or totally in the wrong or whatever, but I just wanted the right to film this situation. And now I've given you the um, the lads' version of events, and that's what th they've said. End of the day, it's something we'll never we'll never know, the true ending of it. But that's what we do, don't we? We film the police, and we question things, and we have a right to do so. Now, what the police don't like, and this is factual, This we, we see this week in, week out, they don't like the fact when we challenge them, because if, if they had their way, they would want your details, wouldn't they? But anyway, let's get into this video, guys. Film it, guys, film it. Yeah, I am, bro. They've just nicked him for football. What for? They're not even name. giving us a reason. He, he, said, said, he said his name and he fucking locked him up for football. Right. It's corrupt, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah. What the fuck's he done? What's he done? Is it, is it yeah. one of your boys as well? Yeah, he's in back of van now. <laughs> and he's not done fuck all. It's corrupt as fuck. What's he done? <laughs> <laughs> John! John, what's your mum's number or Bella? Stand back, Leon. John, what's your Stand number? Stand back, Leon. Leon, you're not, you can't speak to this guy right now. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> John, what's your mum's number or Bella? Don't leave it. What's the actually one? Why are you nicking him? Yo! What? It's John. He's not done for call. He's not. He said he's in. 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 Yeah, can you ask John? I want to turn the phone. Well, you've done gone. You didn't tell him I was supposed to next to him when he got nicked. Yeah, no. Oi, get drunk. Get the fucking dance down for that. Oh, shit. Why are you searching him? I've just been searched. This is for the safety I've of my just colleague. Fucking been searched. Why are you searching what him? What the fuck are you doing? Listen, it's corrupt. He's wearing balaclava. What right? the fuck? Now, you get this you can't, you can't wear a balaclava. You get this on the court. I'm standing here. Yeah. I ain't going to interrupt you. I ain't going to interrupt you. I ain't going to interrupt you. Yeah, I ain't going to interrupt you. I'm standing here. I ain't going to interrupt you. I ain't going to interrupt you. Yeah, yeah. Then don't stand back. I'm standing here. Yo, you see this, bro? Yeah, yeah. Fucking corrupt, innit? Yeah, innit? 
What are you, what are you, what are you supposed you to have done? You just got searched. For what though? I've just been searched 10 minutes ago. And you're searching you again? Yeah. You know what, he's been jumping are in the you, building, so you need to stop What are you back. here for? I'm, I'm documenting this. Documenting? Listen, don't talk to me like that. I'm documenting this because I can do it from here. I'm not interfering with you. If it's been searched once, why are you searching me again? Pardon? I'm not telling you what I'm Yeah, I am, but come on, I can do this. Should we be searching the first one? Yeah. Guys, there's been an incident here. Yeah. We've had a balaclava on. Are they free in so I need to determine that you've not got anything on the shot. So All right, so take. Have what you got anything on you that's shot? You're going to hurt me. Nah. Yo, you see this? Hooked in it. Yeah. You're entitled to a copy of this. Yeah, I want a copy. Corrupt. It'd help if I had your name, mate, so I could give you the whole full deal. You don't have to give him your name, mate. No, he doesn't have to. He has to, because it's been... Different. No, he doesn't. You're, you're not his solicitor, so I need... To Miss, I'm filming this as we speak. I know the law. Touching me up. 293. Don't belittle me. All right, 293, keep it in your head. I will do. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Search 10 minutes ago, what the fuck? Can you not chuck my fucking head warmer on the floor? Head warmer, is that what it is? Yeah, it's a head warmer. No, you can unclip it. Mine, that's what it is. Yo, just close my phone. How old are you, lad? Don't matter. No, it doesn't work. Like he said, don't need to give you any details, I've got rights. Hello. Yo! What are they doing to you boys? <laughs> you not cut my wiring off in my zip, please. Well, it fit in there fine, so it should fit back in there fine. Yo, boys, you see this? Are you happy? Yeah, they're all happy. We've not done fuck all. You can let me out now. So the grounds for the search were for a balaclava? Yeah. After Covid, bro. After Covid. <laughs> no way. I want a copy of this as well, you fucking pig. Oi. What? Who are you talking to? You're the one putting cuffs on me for a bally, lad. What do you mean? Why are you walking around with a belly on? Because it's cold. You can do that, sir. Mate, I'm allowed to. Put it back on as well. Do some of it. Put it on, right? <laughs> Want a copy of this search? No, you don't. For it. You don't need these details for the copy of it. In it, <coughs> John Doe. <laughs> Fucking gripping me for no reason. Watch that as well, didn't you, boy? Fully no reason. <coughs> Yo, they've took your paint markers off you. Boys. Boys. They took your paint markers off right, you. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh my days. I oh, got the street locked off. <laughs> Yo, John! Yo, knock on the van so you can drive. Nah, it was like Let's go shout it to it. You're taking him into custody. Custody. Say what I Yo, you can't be like that, you're a copper. Bro, and he just nicked him for no reason for saying his name. Aye! He said your name, innit? Yeah. Yeah, you nicked him, bro. Fully you get me. Free job, bro. He has a done fuck all. Andy, I'm just gonna run these. Sit wrong. Come out of bed. Well, if I didn't remember, I'm not giving my details again. I've already gave them. Come out of bed. Yeah, I've got to go to bed this early. What's your bed? What's your bed? Yeah, of course, but I'm putting in a fat complaint.
Yeah. Well, he gripped me like a dickhead. Mm. He gripped me like I was a dickhead, so I'm mad. Fuck all as well, ask him. Under what grounds for me having a bally? I'm sorry about Covid, it's, I'm you, allowed to. And he's done the wrong section. Pa section 1 of pace is for offensive weapons and stuff that. Do I have offensive weapons? <laughs> <laughs> I clearly don't know what you're on about. I clearly know what I'm talking about. <laughs> section 1 of pace is it for wearing a balaclava, oh trust me. You don't know the full story. You, he's done him, section oh 1 of pace for wearing a balaclava. You just told him then, I've got it all on record. You said section one of pace for wearing a balaclava. That's what you said to him. Mate, I was here when you put the handcuffs on him. Section one of pace, you s he said for wearing a balaclava. Because I like to record police corruption. Yeah, he's a family friend. Well, so what, why is it a problem then? For my opinion. He used the wrong uh, section of the law to search him. Hey, yo, you can put in a complaint. I'm not holding back. Isn't it? The other one did the fucking... Are you bleeding? No idea. I've lost it. Oh, shit. And if you want to earn respect from the younger ones, be a bit more respectful to them and they'll be a bit respectful back. Isn't it? Is it? Oh, get me a printer, lad, you can have your printer. Yeah, yeah. You see this, bro? Corrupt as fuck. With your email address. Hey, yeah, lad. Put your little stop search in your bag for Yeah, yeah, will do. Bye, piggy. <laughs> what? So there you go, guys. You've just witnessed it. There's um, always two sides. What side of the fence you are on is up to you. But the end of the day, freedom of speech. And, um, yeah, people are going to act different ways to the authorities it's a lot different today than it was 20 30 years ago and um what must they do to get that respect back i know they're taking young uh, seven year olds out of school and uh, putting them in police cars to give them a feel for what police do is that how young they're having to start these days to try and get some support back from future up and coming generations, but I really, really feel COVID has uh, literally done no wonders for the police at all up and down the country. And that's for the political elite as well. And for all these corporate companies, it's they've literally done themselves no favors over the last few years. And we're gonna start to see more and more results of that because no one buys into the BS anymore. It's getting out of hand.